Hello, I'm back. I've been on holiday, so I've just got back now. We're just walking dog. Right, I'm putting a video on from when we, um, from before I went on holiday, <clears throat> and then um, next week's one, I'll be back on track again. So, hope you enjoy this one. Bit of a longer one. Um, yeah. If you like it, subscribe. Give us a like, give us a comment. Right, let's crack on with it. Hello, we're back on the job. Um, you saw us last week, we were in there, putting that big steel up. That's on a video, if you've missed it, go check it out. Massive steel in there. But this week, we are going to be doing the front. So we've got, it's three courses thick, this building. So we've got one steel at back, and then a steel at front with like a 100mm lip on it. So that'll cover two courses, and the other steel will cover the course at the back. So we just made a start on it the other day, well, a couple of hours, like. I've got two pins still there, I haven't put them on uh, because there's a sink at back of that a minute so they go through, we're just propping them with what we've got they go through like that lot, see, I don't know if you can see it there there we go, so and then they'll prop down, we just need to get rid of this sink at some point that's a beam that we got in, that big beam on the week right, so I've just took this door off and we've got a brick up, I think it's like two bricks, but these are pretty bad. I mean, I just took out what's what's bad. I mean, how much do you take? I mean, it's all there's a lot of rough ones to be fair. Just got it to there for now, and then I think I'll put a couple of starter ties. It's a bit rough at bottom, but that's pretty good bonded in, so put a couple of starter ties on there and get that up. Probably do like in block work. And then we've been cleaning a few brick off, so we're going to reuse the brick. And then uh, we need to drop that, but I need a pillar. First of all, I need a pillar there and there. So we'll get them done, and then um, we'll see what we're going to do from there. It's a big oversail of that as well. Look at that. Looks nice, like. Uh, just took a buttress out of there, uh, but I. In, um, guy came out and looked at it and said it's not really doing out so we, it can come out there's one in each corner look see how the roof goes up like that look so it, there's weights there there and it's got a big king trussing house so there shouldn't be a lot on that it's just that massive oversailer we need, need to make sure we don't move right let's crack on right i think what we're going to do is a uh, five sand one cement and i'll put a lime in it as well because um it is a lime mix that, so we'll bother a bit of lime in, why not? We have to work. Trouble. In trouble. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So you got a bit of damp here. I'm not even sure this has got any damp in, but I think I'll wrap that under there like that. I've got wall a bit with it. I'll dump that then and then I might put another layer just on top of that. I don't know why I like what I might just do that just in case. I think I'll do that. Uh probably build a couple of blocks up here first and then I think. So that course is an header course here. So we'll tie it in with headers when it when it gets in and then I think there's the one further up these are a couple of that's an header course so yeah I'll just tie it in with blocks as I go up I think like that and then I might not I might come back air for brick with that leave it up and then put some might put some vertical in like that and then just tie it in here this bit and then we'll get some starters up that side yeah we'll do that get some blocks up get a few blocks down first yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Do you want to just pass me a couple of blocks in and we'll just go? Yeah. Probably lay them flat. Probably the best way, isn't it? Just lay them flat. Yeah. I'll lay a couple up and a couple flat, aren't I? It's not bad, it's an actual I need to be there so might just have it a little bit in. 
should be alright. Have we got that little level to Yeah. Probably has somewhere. Yeah, there. I've got it over here, mate. Probably rubber hammer and all, like. Top them down with that. Get my fist done right and then. Should be happy days then. Look at that. Got a little gap. What's that pretty plumb like? Uh, it's just out slightly, it's building. It's leaning in towards me. Passes, passes up big level. Yeah. Oh. It's quite bad. <laughs> quite, quite, quite bad. Oh well. I thought we can. Yeah. yeah. Right, I've just put a profile up so that matches them bricks up there. So it's not actually that far out, but we've got to pull up brickwork to the top, so we've got to lean it a little bit so it goes to top there. Um, so when it steals and it all matches in, and it, if I put it level, it'll, there'll be a gap, so we've got to lean it in slightly that way and then plumb that way so yeah that should make it a bit easier what i'm going to do is put this down as well so put that up against it as well So we're getting there now, I've got a, so these are the through ones, so, these go through. And then, so that goes through, that goes through, that one goes through, and then if you go right back, I've got a bit of block work up. And then I'll bond it in with bricks, so then brick courses are them bits there, uh, where it's all bonded in, and then we've tied them to that. It's looking all right now. Only thing is, see this one here a lot. This is old brick that we haven't took out. It's stuck out a bloody mile. So I'll get Tim tomorrow to whip this brick out and we'll sort that out. But rest of them are, rest of them are looking good. So I'm quite happy with that. We can sort of do the same with the other side. I'll be uh, pleased with that. We've got to go to, I think. I think we've got to go to about there. I think I think steel sits on, or maybe that and steel. Yeah, that that there. one's got to come out on it. Yeah, so steel somewhere here, so we're not far off on this side. Right, I've got that side to white, and then this side here, uh, see that water running out of it. So I'm gonna have to acid wash this. But anyway, so this side is 20 mil higher than that side, which gives us the right problem because it, so I've got a brick above this so I've had to get Tim on it where I could think of is cut that look leave a 10mm lip and then we'll sit steel on that and that'll give us a 10mm lip and then we'll just worry about less rest when we're bricking it up so I've just got pad stone to get on the uh... so yeah so that's that side I'm gonna pick up some acid wash tomorrow we'll give it a bit of a bit of a clean and then I got this side in um, well, I got half of it up yesterday, so I just finished tops off today. So that literally, we're all cutting out and everything. It took us, well, we're on a third day, halfway through, pretty much there. So we've done like two and a half days to get these up. But yeah, it's looking good. So when that's cleaned up, they should look, they should look nice, shouldn't they? So it's worth doing out the same brick. 
So you'll never know when they're cleaned and then all oh, these arches here. Right, let's step back a bit. So we're on about keeping them arches in, right? And then we just brick up at bottom. I hate these things. Jeez. Get it down, son. Brick was dark and we put a little bit too much out of that one I think. It's just level there. Should be alright, a bit of a bed under there, can't we? Make yep. that five mil up. Should be alright. Plumbing up. Bet you it don't move now though. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah. So that is it, we're, um, we're ready, we've just got to knock wall out, I think what we'll do though is we'll make it um, safe in here because we've opened all the doors up, so I might make it safe in here for tonight and then I'll start bashing through in the morning eh, right. right. Right, it's absolutely shocking weather today, uh, we've still got these dream lifts, I fired them, had them for a day in there. We're going to lift this, all this by hand. The, the gene lifts have been stuck here for like a week. So, and they won't take them. So, we're going to use them. Stuff it. So, before we knock this pocket out, because I don't know if they're going to take these genies today or whenever. So, we're going to lift it up and then we're going to place it on the scaffold ready. And then it's only a case of getting it in. So, if they get rid of genies then, we can just bob it in. So, we're just going to lift it up and set the scaffold. So on the scaffold light, we need to we could do a brace in these because we haven't got any more of them uprights. Right, I forgot to film. We're just taking this scaffold out, spinning it right other way uh, so it can support that a bit better. We've got these genies in up to where we want. We've got that out. I forgot to film it all, we were just getting carried away. Right, and then, now, so we're going to put this board on here and then we're hopefully going to slide one end in and the other. So we took that down because we've decided to put that in after because we're a bit, we've left that back course in, if you could see. We're really um, scared that these props aren't going to rod because we've had to swap, we had them metal bars going through, but they were it way. So I picked up some strong boys, they're in, but they're not really odding it a lot. So we're going to take the back out after. So this one in today, Friday, let it go off at weekend, then we'll put back one in. Hi. Mark's back. Hello. Let's sort some. Come to sort him out. Yeah. Uh, Make sure he's doing it right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Carry on. He's going to be. Soldiers. Mark's going to be sorting this out in here because this is having underfloor eating. So he's going to put some battens in, um, king span, and then pipes in, and then uh, biscuit screed, which is just a uh, weak cement and sand screed on top, and then board it with some. So that's what he's cracking on with. That's steel we got in the other day. Right, we'll get that in. Yeah, I don't know, wait, wait. 
Jeez. Let's tie all the fingers. Oh, she's in. Right, we've got it in. We just need to uh, get that 150 and that 150. That's where that slip look. We need to get a bit of sand and cement underneath it. But are we level? It's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Come me again. And then I'll just put some bricks in these. Brick them up along there. This arch is going to come out, and we're just going to uh, probably put a stretch of course in or something, um, a head of course in above that, maybe. <laughs> right, we're on. There's a steel at the back of that, which is 100 Ooh, millimeter. So that, that's perfect. And then I've just measured other end and way. Just short of 170 each side, which is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brick this bit up underneath this course, get all that supported, and then we know it's going to go off. And then we'll worry about front later, because I've got to take these out. So I'm probably just going to brick it up to what I want first, brick under there, get it all fully up, and then sort our arch out after. Better off with big beds, really, because you have a nice big gap then you know you can get your trowel and fill it all up Right, we've got that out ready for uh I've got to watch this floor because there's not many boards down. Yeah, we've got that out ready now, look. Oh, we've just got them two props in and them on end, which is enough because these bricks here that we put on over at weekend are odding that up. So we need to get this in now and then we can get it showed up and then I can do brickwork up front. Yeah. 
So you just want to put that under the middle of it <coughs> to take weight. Just put it so it's long way Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And now I've got this thing. Well, we're in. We just need to put a 10mm bed under each end because it's 10mm um, lower to other steel. Uh, Josh is back. He's been poorly. Hurt him, son. So that's why you can't lift anything at the minute. So we're just having a brew now. So he can't lift all at the minute. So he's got to take it easy. Uh, not a work accident, but... Uh, so he ain't suing me. But yeah, he's been out of work for a couple of weeks and he's got to take it easy now, so... He's on like tidy up duties and stuff. And then I'll just brick that in. And then we can duck front. Summer day, it's really dark in here this morning. Chucking it outside. Got them in yesterday, electrician came so I couldn't record the rest of it. Uh, just missing a few out of this corner. We're gonna get this wall down. So, oh, it's rough out here today, miserable. Uh, so, I won't be doing that today because it's chucking it down. It says rain all week as well, but I'm sure we're gonna have some dry points uh, doing that. Uh, right, let's. Uh, whoa. Let's get this down. Smash a wall down first thing this morning, then I'm gonna have to pick some boards up to board back of it. Uh, there's a big door around there that I'll show you later that's going in. Right, probably do it from inside so we don't get soaking wet. Gotta save these bricks so for up there. That's it, We've got wall down, big opening now look. Uh, I've got to board it up though now, for tonight. Can't leave it like that. So we're going to board it up. But yeah, and then I've got... If it's sunny tomorrow, we'll get that done. Finish that off. Right, finally the sun's shining today. So, I've decided to put this in. I got inspected out yesterday past this off and inside he uh, passed it off and I mentioned this to me like oh yeah just put it in if you've got it and like whatever but it didn't do it all because it's, it's solid uh, it's three coats thick solid there's no cavity in it so putting this crap in is a waste of time really but I'll put it in soon as I want it but as soon as I've bedded these back ones in here I'll just what I'll do is I'll build it up to then I'll just get some silicon silicon that uh, that leave it there uh, we're gonna leave, he won't see his leaving in now, we're gonna take them all out But he says he, he quite likes his arches in just to give it a look So it looks like I'm just gonna be doing a, um, just a normal bond straight across it Pretty much same as that and then we'll have to rip these bits out and just fix that But yeah, right let's crack on We've got some clear weep holes this time Put them in. I think it's a bit pointless to be fair, this like we're not having a cavity, but it's what he wants, so that's what we'll do. What's the matter, you? Hey, why are you looking so bad? She pulled back of these brick out. And then I'll just silicon that up in a bit when I get a bit higher, I reckon. Put no plasticizer in this. You got it. No plasticizer in this, is there? No, because there's no left. What have we run out? I mean, that's uh, whatever we're left in that bottle, mate. Right? Well, we'll have to deal with. Yep.
Uh, I'm not having fun with this. What? I'm not. I'm not having fun with this. I'm just talking to YouTube. <laughs> look, look how far out I've had to stick this. Look, see how far out line is. So it literally just goes like this. So all the bricks are leaning back. When I'm tapping them, they don't get no water. So I've got to keep tapping to a minimum because they're just gonna all the stuff will come out and start falling down. So I mean. See how far it is, so, I mean that needs to go in a little bit more early. It's just an absolute freaking mile out. It's doing me in. So when it gets like this, it just gets annoying, but anyway. I'm gonna um, seal this on. Make Inspector happy. <laughs> Trying to do it one hand. Right, silicon that in, and then I just need to fill these up light as I go up. There's an hole there as well, but that'll do for that. Right, let's crack on. Tim's just got to knock a brick out there for me, like this one here, look. when we've done this job deal. Yep, definitely. Right, I've got it in. I've given it a rub, um, just boarding up this door. So smudgy because I haven't gone off right, but I think that looks all right, that. So once I give that an acid wash, it should look uh, quite smart. So you can get a better view up these stairs. Mm. Yeah, it looks fine as that. I'll just give it an acid wash when it goes off. A couple of pinholes as well, but I've tidied the bucket out now, so I'll sort that tomorrow. <laughs> 